Welcome to the studio. I'm Kami Enzerum and our uh, distinguished panel is going to be talking about simplifying IT for uh, better experiences. Simple, huh? So post-COVID, expectations have changed, experiences have changed, um, there's different demands, the bar is much higher. Um, specific to Unicredit, in the last uh, 12 to 18 months, nearly 24 months now, we've uh, been on a digital transformation journey. And this topic of simplifying IT for better experiences is really at the core. Simplifying that customer experience is not designing um, a sexy or a fancy user interface, right? It's really looking at the end-to-end -end experience they have. And simplification within our business is looking at the business processes, the operational processes, looking at the products, the services, the whole end-to-end -end experience front to back, and really uh, harmonizing and streamlining those business processes because that then has a direct impact on the IT landscape and the customer experience. So simplifying um, the business processes and the workflows, and, and that is what's driving a customer experience, mm -hmm. not just inventing or um, innovating you know, new products and services on top of an already complex landscape. There are obviously you know, parallels, um, Graham, between banking and insurance, um, and you led a massive transformation program. Just t talk us through it, what was the biggest challenge? It's the legacy versus the new. But if you've got all these legacy systems, how, are you, how do you interface them? How do you use those APIs? How do you get them updated? How do you not, by, by generating new services, you're making it much less simple, <laughs> which is you know, the, the uh, ante of what you're trying to achieve. So I think it's a really fine balance as to how you, how you architect the solutions um, to ensure that maybe you don't need to dive into a legacy system so quickly. If it's not easy to use, you're already losing people on that journey. So you, you've got to be there and you've got to be quick. And that doesn't work with a system that takes, you know, 60 days to put a release in. So it's, it's a fine balance, I think, as to where, where you're trying to drive. But, and so it's been very clever, I think, about it, really planning it out and where you're trying to drive your transformation. From an IT perspective, what's gone on behind is massive complexity. And I think the answer from our perspective is you need, we, need, we need customers to look at that core infrastructure that's there and, and how they are connecting it together. Because if that, if that performance isn't delivered, no matter how good that single pane of glass is, if it doesn't deliver data instantly, correctly, then the, the user experience is going to be bad. So. You know, today, that's the piece that we spend our time working with customers on, is how can we simplify those infrastructure components so that data and connectivity get served in the right way for that new model versus the old way, which is everything in a data center. When you say we're ripping out this system mm. and the CFO says, no, yeah. you're not, then what do you do? Um, it's, all it's all business case. A right. lot of these are based on um, in improved customer retention, improved um, conversion rates, and that's the business case. You've got to figure out an approach um, uh, where you are able to provide a better experience from a UI perspective. Um, uh, and, you know, behind the scenes, you've got to hide the complexity. And uh, But how do you make sure the reliability stays, right? So bringing that reliability in to give the customer the confidence that when you need it, our systems will be up, right? That aspect is super important and that's need to be built in. So to your point, using the technology for simplifying that experience and keeping a high availability. Your one top tip for a, uh, a technology leader seeking to simplify in the interest of, of, of customers, what, what's your one top tip? I think you just got to look at the whole organisation that you, you manage and that's part, that's part of it. You know, innovation comes from different areas. If you want to simplify, you need to understand the customer. We didn't really talk about it here explicitly. It was maybe embedded in, in what some of us uh, said, but I would say change management. So even though we think simplification of IT is all about IT, there is an element of executive sponsorship, um, a relentless focus, um, it really, simplification being a part of the culture, being a part of the DNA. 
And so the technology problems, while they may not be perfect solutions, we can solve. You know, you always have constraints of budget, war on talent, but you know, do not underestimate the change management, the sponsorship, it being a part of your culture. It's not a one and done marketing pitch, marketing slogan, and then you move on to the next trend.